your focus firing stuff on, your Decrepify, the potential for that is really strong too. It's just an awesome hero. Like, if you played Pugna really well you can, and you have a good positioning, you can actually make so much happen on the map. And they did have a... It looked like a swap at the last second, but then they swapped back. Okay. Because okay. Rezo swapped with Moon for the Necro, but I was like, I don't think Moon plays Arc Warden. I was going to say, I think Rezo, <laughs> you know, he's one of the first, one of the few yeah. that will bring an Arc Warden to the, to yeah. the fray. So Liquid has a very strong early game lineup, and they are going to be sieging towers, and that's exactly what it looks like they want to do as well. It should work. I'm also on the board with the panel as well. I but like you liquids. prefer Liquid's approach? I do. Here. Okay. They have a timing window, sure. They have to in, like end the game by, unless they're like super far ahead, they have to end the game by like, I mean, yeah, 30 minutes, Because that definitely, is, if this goes late, this arc warden uh, is going to be unmatched, surely. I mean, surely, the, so, I guess the DK is a bit you know, of an issue. It is, yeah, the arc warden is a problem, but Pugna is very good at dealing with it, because you can de you always decrepify the oh, target, you get focus fired and everything like that. You have a okay. lot of magic burst damage to deal with all these different things, too. It hurts Necro quite a lot. I'd still say they're, they're on a timing window, but I... I think they can no, actually I stand to build the fight for a bit. <laughs> well, let's see what happens well, there. What happens there. We're going to have mind control. We're going to have mind control. Coming up for the rune. <laughs> I think, th do we hear double? Th we, we can hear double? ourselves. <laughs> we can hear ourselves. Woo! Echo. Woo. I don't know if you guys can hear, you guys can hear this in the stadium. All right. Um, but we hear ourselves twice. But we hear ourselves twice. I already picked so. I already picked so. Why is this? <laughs> do they hear us twice? <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. All right, we'll continue as if, they, uh, we'll if, continue if you guys they, don't hear us twice. They can definitely they, they they can hear the, the echo. Stream, the stream can hear us twice. The stream can hear us twice, so. We should have. It'll be sorted. Did we fix it? It's great. I get to hear my own voice. It's, it's pretty good. That's what I love. It's kind of distracting, though. It's kind of distracting, though. Do it. Do it. Oh, well. We'll see if we can get it sorted. So, starting out with the old school dual lane that we used to see a lot, the Earthshaker Coddle. Constant harassment line up our lane. And there we go. Miracle mid, getting a yeah. lot of pressure on him. This could be a first blood, but the body blocks from Saxa, it certainly is. Weeha takes the kill. Great rotation there from Saxa. He's been having a beautiful day, and he looks to continue it straight into this second series for the side of Planet Odd. Yeah, he didn't... Uh, Miracle didn't even eat a tango, didn't pop the fairy fire, nothing. He just got brought down by the right clicks by both of them. I, I honestly missed how the start of that lane phase, uh, the lane happened there, so... On the side lanes. To my man, that safe lane, Pugna. So is it Pugna against an offlane Necro? But how are we expecting this bottom lane to go? Is anyone going to get someone else out of here? Hey, they should be able to zone the Necro out if they yeah. have, like, the Kuroki's able to actually, like, stand and right-click person, but Moon is already forcing a lot of experience. However, now he looks like he could be in some trouble with the shards, and with one more blast, he should be able to get brought down. Yeah. Kill there for the side of the Liquid. Kuroki playing on the edge of his life, but it will keep it intact. They both got the salves out. They get the job done. Punishing Moon, if they can keep this advantage on him at the bottom lane, it's going to be very hard for the Necro to play as aggressive as Moon was hoping for there. Pugna with Tusk is really nice, because you have like two ways of catching with the t uh, the Snowball and the Shards, and Pugna is just like an incredible nuker, so you can always like, decrepit, get lots of chase down, especially in that safe lane. So it should be pretty cool to watch that. They have a lot of save potential too, like they have the Blinding Light from Coddle, they have the Snowball from Tusk, and they have the Decrepify from Pugna, so lots of different ways to like stop damage from being done or just save people in general. Our mid lane CS as well at the moment. Weeha with a, a sizable lead against Miracle. Having a very good time at the moment on this Wind Ranger early on. Yeah, Wind Ranger definitely wins that matchup pretty hard, but it's also, yeah, Miracle's alone versus a dual lane. Sox has been chilling there for quite a bit. Has he been doing the same thing that he did last game where he was sanking? Uh, he goes mid, yeah, okay. So he goes mid, gets Saints, uh, gets level two, then just keeps stacking hard camp and sandstorms it as well. Bottom lane, Max they're going to make another attempt in onto Moon. He's trying to find the kill onto Matuma Matt. It's going to be close, not close enough though. Moon down for a second time on this bottom lane. As Matumba and Kuroki taking full control. Very nice. And they're, uh, the cool thing is Liquid's pressuring that offlane pretty hard with this uh, Earthshaker Coddle, because they're able to just spam super hard. I say that mind control gets a little bit of harassment onto him, but nonetheless, is the power of you know dual lanes. And you, you're gonna get something out of your off lanes because of this. And Sox are just focused on getting his type of farm and levels in the jungle with that sandstorm on that uh, hard camp that's triple stacked. Now, mid lane miracle does have a little bit of backup now. Kuroki's come around mm -hmm. with the tusk. This is where it starts becoming 
DK is able to farm perfectly fine. When you get that level four, the two zero two, that bonus armor, six armor and six health regen plus poor man shield, pretty hard to break through. Now he's gonna feed. Yeah, certainly feeling a lot more comfortable. Yeah. As deal with the pre fire spam, keeping them back yeah. up top, trying to get involved with the control around the pool by the way, make sure they can get themselves that bounty room. Misery, I think quite aggressive here, comes in, just at the back of a Saxa. They're going to try and make a go on some mind control. Was looking for the enchant totem to proc them back with the passive, but it's not going to happen. Resolution comes across, and the side of Planet Odd punishing mind control's position. Weeha went for a power shot snipe from like, the mid area, <laughs> trying to get the last hit. But yeah, they get mind control Radiant playing generation. over aggressive. Sox's first rotation out of that jungle in mid lane, and that's in the kill. How's Moon doing? Moon's almost level 5, so he's getting a lot of experience down there, even though he's died. So he's doing a bit better than the Earthshaker Coddle, but you know, Earthshaker Coddle is splitting the experience, so a little bit different. Again, another bit of a go on to, to Easy, he's in trouble. Kuroki's there again with the wraparound. Moon, ah yeah, goes for the straight TP out. Can they go close the gap in time? They can't. Uh, Snowball's gonna put him in, uh, not too much of an unfavorable position. The kill is not successful, mid lane, plan it up. They'll try elsewhere for a bit of action. They're going in onto Miracle. Zero and one. Have they got the damage with the Fatal Bonds and the Shadow Word ticking him down? It's going to be close. Power Shot will seal the deal. And Odd get themselves another another bit of action there in the mid lane. They certainly needed it. Miracle was starting to to really pick up that farm. He was top of the CS. Yeah. So Good big double. kill them. Good double rotation. Definitely needing that extra damage from Fatal Bonds and from Misery playing the Warlock. It's a little bit it's different, right? Misery playing uh, Warlock and Soxa playing the Sinking. It's been reversed, I guess. Yeah, so they, they keep kind of yeah, switching, switching it up. up today. Yeah. Amatumba with the Arcane Rune. Latu's getting a oh, sorry, okay, bottom, though. Okay, let's see if they can get away with this one. We have a Saxa with the lead in. Boros Strike. And to the Sandstorm. Oh! Almost brings him down with that. Yeah, nearly fire. finds something in return. But again. This time around, it's Planet Odd taking the edge down bottom. Securing that bit of positive action for Moon on the Necro. Pushing him closer towards that level 6 when things will get a little trickier for Matumba on that bottom lane. Mm -hmm. To certainly be more careful about how he plays. Top lane, Misery getting caught out by the wraparound. Should be a surefire kill as he's blocked in the shards. Illuminate flies through. And Liquid get Misery. Get the mind control bounty room once again. Keeping the Shaker in good position with the XP and gold. Pretty astonished how Moon is keeping up in CS with the Earthshaker. Like Moon has an offlane solo Necro keeping up with an Earthshaker dual lane. Earthshaker 25, him 25, that's pretty damn good even though he's died. Rezo looking for mind control. He'll try for the TP out. Oh, just in time. Oh yeah, good call as well. Oh, they actually get oh. it with the Fatal Bonds. Oh. With the Shadow Word. That was close. Did the, I think maybe they had it on one of the creeps and the Spark Wraith maybe hit it, that extra damage that came out from it. It, must have it, was, been. it looked like it was must just have been. enough. He just yeah. ticked over. Five to three. Mid Bottom. lane. They're looking for the dive. Level six Necro Sox is there as well. Level six on Necro before the Pugna gets it. A burst strike and a Reaper Radiant Scythe would certainly do it. But some man just playing very safe. Back behind the tier one. Top that. I mean, yeah, Misery's doing a pretty good job of bullying people out of this lane with this Warlock. Radiant yeah. structures are fortified. Kuro looking for bottom. They've got the drain. Uh, the, the, the amount of control they have, as you said, the, the Tusk Pugna combo really pays off. Top lane, mind control being gone upon. Has the creep wave to help him by some time. In fact, he's turning. He's looking to give a right bit of a slap to Rezo. Oh, he might die here. That Spark Wraith, is he it going okay. to be enough? He's got no. stick. Yeah, stick charges will keep him alive. <laughs> Bottom lane, they're looking to go on Soxa. Keeping uh, in the aggression. Yeah, it's got the, the infused raindrop. It's not going to be enough to save him. Another kill there, the Tusk Pugna doing massive amounts of work on this bottom lane. That's one little, like, one couple things that the life drain is really good for. You know, how it, you know, change, of course, to give True Sight when you use it. Sandstorm, can't Sandstorm. He doesn't, he didn't use it there, of course, but you can't because it gives True Sight now. Mine. All things said and done, it feels like odd are the ones with a slight edge off the back of this landing stage. Mind Control will try for the TP this time, he's not successful. Resolution gets involved with the kill. Seven for five. It's very close. I'd say it is yeah. very close. It's pretty pretty dead even again. Because <laughs> Weehaw now is just going to stay in that mid lane and always keep the Dragon Knight from hitting his tower. Bottom lane once again. The Tusk Pugna combination. 
They're, they're making it work. They're making Moon sweat. He's got four deaths, but still. You know, it's the level seven Necro, it's four deaths. I mean, it's a lot. So you're giving a bit, of, a bit of extra gold there, but you're getting the experience, which is really tough to get because you can't get in the jungle or anything like that. Miracle now with Arcane Rune pops his DK form, starting to get some damage on the tower. Top lane, planted odd. I mean, resolution just spamming out these spark raves, causing issues. Misery tries for the TP out, mind control. He can't really go in for the finisher though. With the presence of the rest of the side of Planet Odd. And in the middle lane. I see Moon come in. Miracle rather low. Looking about maybe dropping Reaper Sub, but it wouldn't be quite enough damage. In fact, Moon, as soon as he comes into the middle lane, <laughs> Poor Moon. Tusk and Pugna just have his number. Poor Moon. Literally, as soon as he respawned, TP's dies right away. He saw a low Dragonite, he got happy and excited. But the rotations from Kuroki all over the place this game. 106 involved in all seven of their kills. Top lane, GH, definitely dead. I mean, this is a safe lane arc warden on a mega kill streak. That too, yeah. He's getting a lot out of that top lane. But I get the same selling to be said for Pugna, as you say, yeah. because of how many kills he's been involved in. It's the kills, but they don't have like the CS. Like usually you see like the creep scores, they have like six last hits per minute or something. We're nearing the 10 minute mark and these two are sitting at like four last hits per minute because of those, you know, the aggressive lanes that came out. Etherlens done now as well for Pugna. Okay, nice. Radiant That's great. Makes your cast range uh, over a thousand on the life train and just super good for your decrepify and your blast. You keep your distance from the towers. Liquid with this smoke movement, they they want to do something about resolution up top. They want to every time DK form is up, they want to take a tower every single time. Getting a kill is of course great. A kill into a tower. They might be able to get it here. Don't know if Rezo's going to expect this one. Matu getting ready for the decrep. And there's the lead in. Decrep straight up. And here we go. With the Dragon Tail's done into the Illuminates. More than enough magical nuke to bring down Rezo. And we had to farm up the illusion as well. And now, as you say, with the Elder Dragon form, perfect position to oh. put some damage onto the tier one top as well. Oh, this is cool too. With the Chakra Magic, you can do two Nether Blasts back to back. Oh, that's nice. down to zero. So like a decrep with double blast, that's like a thousand plus damage. Look at that! You see that damage? He almost just died uh, full! Oof, the life train nearly finishes off Weehar as well. He will be able to just get himself out of range, but oh no, Kuro's there with the wraparound. Comes in with the shards and the snowball to take down the Wind Ranger. And Saxa just has to run himself away from this liquid. Oh wow, I know what I'm asking people to pick with when I play Pugna. Pugna that's Cole. awesome. Double Pugna blast under decrep is just absurd. Kuro gets the tower tonight, bottom. Nice play. And continuing the siege. Every time DK form is up, they gotta make some moves. Get all those towers down as fast as possible, all those tier ones. Saxa sticking around. Uh, look for the shackle, they do find it onto the DK. They've got a chaotic offering as well, ready to drop. Uh, they are hesitant on fighting with the tower already down. Planet Odd back off. Midas well. finish to Rezo. Double Midas usage right away. I just feel like a scary game though for this this arc wooden. We've seen Liquid definitely with the tools to to burst him down. Mm -hmm. uh, just the thing that always scares me is I mean GH Coddle. This guy actually is one of the best Coddles I've ever seen. He always seems to find his farm even when he's playing like the hard five is it. And he goes for like the four staff agonims every single game and it always gets at a good timing. Just knows the ins and the outs of the hero, aka, as he likes to call it, taking farm from my cores. I'll take your tribute. I mean, the question is, we're 12 and a half minutes in. Mm -hmm. Are Liquid as far ahead as they would have hoped to? As you said, you know, this lineup, they want to try and get this momentum. Do you think they're feeling pretty comfortable? I think they're still okay, yeah. They maybe they want it to be a little bit more ahead if, if they think that their lineup is all in, but I don't know if they really feel like their lineup is all in. I mean, if they can kill Rezo like this, they will be more than happy. They surround him, and there's just no escape. It's absolutely brutal how much damage Liquid can throw out. Oh, Jitch, he's taking down a Flux. Oh my god, he's inside. Bottom lane Miracle in a very dubious position. He's a little deep. They do have the Reaper Cypher. They can get the vision, bring him down low enough. There's the Burrow Strike. Same time, though, Matumba will get the kill. Miracle, oh, is he going to get away with that? Ooh, he's not. Neat little attempt there. Dragon Tail onto Moon to make Damn. sure they didn't have that Reapers.
try out for the TP out. It does force the, the the rock out in a situation where Miracle is almost certainly dead anyway. It looks it definitely looks scary for a moment. I, I think actually Moon used his death pulse and he was like five mana short. So he turned stun him and tried to TP, but yeah, the Warlock Golem and both the Necro Scythe comes out in time. Mid lane. They're trying to keep this aggression onto Rezo. Three Poor minutes old Rezo. In. He's getting a lot of hate going his way. Echo oh Slam dropped down. The Fisher from Mind Control holding back the rest of Odd from getting him for a return play. They will come in with a TP from Weeha and he's looks like they should find Kuro out of this, and indeed they will. But yeah, Resolution massively being focused down by these rotations. Yep. And the, while they're making all these rotations, like I said, this is where GH does, does GH things. Gets that farm. He's already gone up about 12 or 1300 net worth during all those last like two or three minutes or so when they've been making those moves. I believe we pretty much got the Blink Dagger done on the Shaker as well. Yep. About 50 more gold. Picks up a bounty. He's got it ready. Now they have a real initiating thing instead of, you know, a snowball, which is, uh, it's reliable, but it puts you in a, an awkward position. Top lane, double blast, and the drain onto the illusion. Kill it nice and quickly. The double blast is so awesome. It's actually so cool. I strove so, so strong at this stage of the game. Yeah. Even for, just for sieging, like, later on, yeah. too. Like, if the, once they get, like, tier, if a tier three gets sieged down, the double blast on double racks, a lot of damage. Miracle almost has the armlet finished up. He's looking still pretty good for his timing. Weeha has Maelstrom now done. Rezo just still a bit behind because, you know, his, his net worth is okay, but he wants to be ahead of that because he's going for Midas on Arc Warner. So you want to be a quite a significant gold position ahead of the others. Well, Maelstrom is finished on Weeha, so he himself still making very good timing on his items. Agonims halfway through at the moment for Matumba Man. Oh hell yeah! I'm always I'm always happy when there's a Pogna game. So. And is this pretty much always the build? Kind of ether lens into straight axe. Yeah. Yep. 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 And then Probably BKB afterwards, yep. maybe or an armor solution because the hero suffers a lot in the armor department. Mark Gordon can really punish you quite heavily. The Crux is looking for Saxa here. Loro's in a very aggressive but spot. The, yeah, there's going to be TP reactions coming through from Odd. And Liquid will be held back. Snowball comes out as Kuroki just looking to try nice. and create the gap between them. And now Liquid backing off. 15 seconds until Echo stands back up for mind control and he does have that blink to get into position. Saxa has eyes on him though. They don't want to go on the Pugna because of that counter initiation, counter -initiation from that blink dagger or shaker. Fighting into Nether Ward is also not a good idea, so they have to like wait till that goes down before they can actually try to go for type in, any type of engagement. So, yep, GH has the four staff finished up now. On the way toward that Agonims is where Kuroki becomes the full hard five on the Tusk. Rock committed toward top. Yeah, she comes down onto both of them here with a Reaper Scythe as well. That's going to be the Shaker gone. Matumba as well. He cannot survive this. As Liquid getting caught in a very awkward position there. The two of them moving forward. They were just like standing together, huh? Yeah. Just like holding the waves together. Yeah. A little bit unfortunate, but Odd capitalizes on that. Got it. Slight mistake by Liquid. Miracle continuing that farm. Level 13 Dragon Knight with that armlet. Very high level. Sox is about halfway to blink, so they'll, be, they'll have a better actual initiation rather than just having to rely on Rock as their initiator, counter initiator for Planet Odd. Top lane. I'm going to see the group once again. Maybe see if they can catch someone out. I have eyes towards Misery, and that looks to be the target. Straight up with a fish, yep. Again, just this sort of control enabling, enabling Matuma Man to go ham with the life train, and maybe even find more. Miracle with that Invis rune, closing the gap onto the Necro, jumped back here into the clutches of Liquid. He's got some time to get out with the Ghost Shroud. See if Liquid wanted to continue to dive, and we have with the Brief Fire and the Force Forward on Miracle. They should get this one more touch. Do it, the, the shot! That, oh, just that on. will seal the deal. Just on the edge of it. So Liquid again, keeping the pressure on now, securing themselves the chance to finish off this tier 2 top, potentially. So Kuroki's doing that, that one thing that I've seen him do actually every game. He backpacks the Tome until he hits level 10 on Tusk, so he gets the 40% experience gain and then uses it. Because that's the one from the 10 minute mark, of course. He does it every game he plays Tusk. Maximum efficiency. Yeah. And Kuro. And Kuro Tusk as well. It was that, you know, this is 
over recent kind of phases, this has got to be one of his most played. He has played so many games on on Tus. Yeah, because of Epicenter, right? They were the first. That was when they did like every game. Yeah, this every was like game. it looked similar to this. These kind of drafts, right? Like this, like Tusk with Earth Shaker kind of lineup. I don't, have we seen Matuma Man Pugna before? I, mean, I, I feel like we must have seen it at least once. Oh, do you not think so? This is something brand new for Liquid? Maybe maybe once. I know I've seen him play Necro, but I don't know if I've seen yeah. him play Pugna, actually. He's doing fine. <laughs> 8, 2, and 4. Making moves all over the map. Right, Moon actually going to go for the blink next. Needs that positioning. Yeah. Especially with how many ways that Liquid can keep the distance. Okay, let's change it up. He says he wants an eight sauce. Okay, okay. Moon does that a lot. Changes his items a lot. I mean, when he, that he hasn't clicked by at least. Now Siege starts out. There's no other dragon form, but yep, they've got a, a Caudal Pugna. So a double blast tower is dropped down very quickly. Another tier two indeed. Take a miracle with the shadow blade complete. Nice. I, yeah, I think you like need a blink or a shadow blade on that hero. I like the shadow blade better because you, you know, scaling potential of course. So it builds into other items, but. Sox has got that blink finished up, so they at least have some some more team fight on Planet Odd now with that uh, rock and blink on Sanking. But Liquid still looking pretty damn good, almost finishing up the Aghanims on Pugna, and then maybe they'll try to make some more big plays with that Shadow Blade and DK form. But probably their biggest goal for Liquid this game is to, of course, to get pickoffs and stuff like that. But once they get the Keeper Light Aghanim Scepter, that's the big go time to siege and break high ground. Oh, look at this though. Planet Odd with the smoke down towards the bottom lane. Sox is in position too, in the trees with Can't that blink. They get that jump. Liquid are there, ready to hold, but Saxa with the epi ready to go, jumps in onto mind control. Kelly offering out as well with the Reaper Scythe. That's the shaker down. Planet Odd looking for more. Kuroki, he'll get himself inside the snowball, but he's almost certainly going to pay with his life as he goes in deep, gets taken down. Double kill for Moon. There was a buyback from the Shaker to get into this one. They will be able to turn and take down Saxa, but Weeha is just going ham here with the Maelstrom and the power shot, nuking down the Shaker a second time in this fight as Miracle and Matuma Man are left to just run the hell out of there. Planet Odd. Oh, man. Taking a brilliant team fight. They'll look towards potentially the tier two and more on that bottom lane. And that's a buyback. Earth Shaker's trying yeah. to get in closer with the Pugna, right? Pugna was not near the, in that situation. But Misery just sets up with an upheaval on the far left, and Pugna literally can't walk through it. He's just moving at like literally 100%, crawling through it, trying to get to the fight. I think they called the team made that decision to go for the probably the Earthshaker buyback, but they just weren't able to get and close the gap with more heroes. Because Coddle doesn't really want to join those. Doesn't even have a TP. He wants to just be pushed, but pushing the lanes, getting that Agonims, and he's halfway there. A very nice bit of play there from Planet On, indeed. Matu is probably pretty sad there, just sitting inside the upheaval. I'll take that. I mean, how do you deal with that? Someone has to stop it. Someone you has gotta, you gotta someone kill has to kill that warlock. Yeah, yeah, kill the warlock or get a fissure on it or snowball, something to stop it. I mean, ideally, of course, they want to find. Uh, Liquid wants to find either the warlock or the sinking in the start of the fights just to bring them down. Don't let them get that initiation or counter initiator. Now we've got. B full BKB finished up on Weeha, so after that Maelstrom was finished up in that bottom fight, picked up a few kills, and he's looking very good in this game. 5-2-1, two, one. one of the better performances I've seen from Weeha in the last few games. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're seeing well, both Weeha and Resolution still having a, a pretty darn good time despite the, the efforts, especially against the, the Arc Warden mm -hmm. that we saw early on for Liquid. They were, they were able to kill off Rezo a couple of times, but he's kept the farm strong. With that Midas, indeed, is uh, he's got the shadow play complete now, I believe. On the yeah, part. it's being delivered right now. That's on its way out. That'd be nice. Like low armor, Pugna mentioned it a few times. Only four armor, level 12. Definitely susceptible to getting bursted down during the focus fire, or during the Coin. arc warden inside the magnetic field. So yeah, Matu queues up the BKB, rather just rather having that magic immunity so he doesn't have to worry about the upheaval, any of that type of spell damage. The physical damage he's got, he's got Decrypt to deal with it, so... Not really worrying about armor yet. Maybe the next item he'll get one of those, but not just yet. My Control, of course, with that buyback, got a lot of his gold taken away. He was, I think, like halfway to the four staff. Now he's nowhere even near it. And now GH, though, from all this that's been happening, he's literally just been farming for the yeah, last... He's just been how long has it yeah. been? Ten minutes? 
pretty much taking control of that, that whole planet Oz jungle. Yeah. yeah. Ten minutes now or so, farming on the Coddle. Four staff and pretty much Aghanim is about to be finished. So he knows what he needs to get involved with this team. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. So next time the fight for Liquid will be when, yeah, that Ax comes out and it's going to be daytime, probably pretty similar timing, one minute until day. I don't think he'll have the Ax exactly then, but it'll be close. Yeah, definitely when, yeah, as you say, they have the Ax and they have the two BKBs on their two cores. Yeah. That is certainly going to be the bit of the, the, the peak that the Liquid want to try and utilize where they'll have a clear edge against Planet Odin in these team fights. Yeah. Neither team takes Roche really great, to be honest. Arc Warden's okay because you get the at least you have the magnetic field for your team to attack faster in it, so they I Planet Odd would actually have a better one. But yeah, neither of them are like spectacular at taking Roshan. Because no medallions across the entire board either. Uh, who's gonna get caught out by who? As both teams they're prioritizing oh, okay. GH's farm. Yep. Kuroki nukes the mid lane once. They let the blast go off. And Aghanim is now finished for GH. So he'll have it on this daytime right now. So five seconds till day. And now this will be when they look to go. Recall is already coming out. They're all gathering up in the mid lane. And this one comes out. Daytime Coddle. Let's see what they can catch. I mean, at the moment, Planet Odd themselves split up. Yeah, they saw Weeha moving toward there with that deep ward that they do have in mid. They saw him where he was going toward those neutrals. He should be able to catch him out here. There's the Fisher to set things up. He will pop the BKB and go for the retreat. Kuroki, though, gets the punch up. Oh. Can they continue to chase? My, oh, my control didn't blink to chain stun. And Misery actually able to, to drop the chaotic offering in the amongst this all, but there's not really any follow up from it. Misery is going to lose his life and his golem. Not the, uh, not the drop that he wanted there with it. At the and same time, Miracle. miracle with the DD rune, picks off a freebie as Sax is caught out on the side. Misery's gonna buy back, but with no Golem, little that they can offer to this one straight up his way. The, the oh Necrofoss my. just gets blown up the double by blast. Liquid. Woo. And it's daytime, so they've got infinite sustain and mana. They are ready to push up to the high ground. Rezo's just full split push right now, bottom lane. He may get quite a bit. We'll see how much he can do with that split push. Buyback comes out from Saxa. So two buybacks already being used for this hold. Uh, Liquid, they continue to stand tall. There's the Fisher onto Misery. Sucks Miracle so with trying to close the gap, but there's the Epi jump in. They'll take down Miracle. Big kill. Putting an end to a large amount of Liquid sieging potential. And Kuro dies bottom. Resolution continues his siege. Kuro's actually going to have to buy back as well to, to push this Arc Warden away down bottom. Saxa trying to chase, looking for Matuma Man, knowing that Liquid are starting to, to fall apart as they back off. And hold on, Matuma turns back around with the life train. Weeha still with the BKB, trying to get in position to do something about this, about this Pugna, but with the Decrypt fight, he just can't get in with the physical damage. The Illuminate flies through, Saxa falls incredibly low. Matuma again with the life train, causing Weeha to have to force back. Weeha can't do anything in this fight. He backs away, Misery being focused. Again, <laughs> Matuma man life trains him down. It's a die back on the Warlock. I love Pugna. I love watching Pugna. So great. And GH it, as well with these cute little plays. Oh, we are. Gets the mana stun now off. Too. And that is going to be another death as well. <laughs> and Pugna's full mana again because he was full health during all that. So while he's draining, he gets all his mana back. And some brilliant plays there. Very cheeky from stuff with Pugna. Yeah, Matuma Man having an absolute ball of a time on that Pugna. Yeah. Pugna Coddle. <laughs> Get those blast heals. The life drain as well. They can actually like keep him locked down enough. And now this looks like it should actually be a Rax with Sox at no epicenter. They yeah, only got his there's necro. no way they can hold this. Yeah, Whether this that sort of blast, as you said, that push damage. I mean, it's yeah, this it, might actually be too. It's it's just a, it's a really nice draw from Liquid that's just perfectly executed. Look at that double blast! Boom, boom. Third of the tower gone. Now when the Rax gets exposed, he's able to blast both of them at the same time too. Oh, it's disgusting. Two sets. Yeah, nothing that Planet Odd can do to stop this second set from going down. As Liquid are just playing the tempo perfectly. 27 minutes in, clearing out two sets of racks. They're, they're, that's their timing window. They literally were like, all right, that's so matter. GH, we're going to make some space for you. You farm your four staff, you farm your Aghanims, and then we go win the game right when you get it. And that's what's happening right now. And look at this. Miracle on the high ground just waltzes up there. They've got the three-man Fisher into the Illuminate as Planet Odd just... Mel, 
They just absolutely disappear. Saxa comes in with the epi, but it's not enough. He's caught out as well. It's a fourth down on the side of Planet Odd. And they might just go tier fours. It may just be over. Yeah, Liquid are moving in onto the tier fours. An incredibly smooth performance from them here. A perfect lineup around this Pugna safe lane pick. They Double keep blast. it alive. The Tusk <laughs> complementing it perfectly. Yeah. The tier fours are gone. There's very little Planet Oil could do to slow this down. The buyback will come out from Moon. Very but the nice. Ancient is exposed and Liquid just push on. Can Planet Oil put a stop to this? Kuroki's going to snowball in onto the Necrophos. But he's, he's fine. They just back off. Look that towards the Ancient. There will be a Chaotic Offering up in a second. They may actually have to back off here. Uh, Kuroki roots it up. There's the Decrep, but there's the Shackle into the Reapers. That's Kuroki down. Chaotic Offering drop. Catches three of them. Odd looking to chase down for more. They've got GH here with the Focus Fire. That's going to be a second down. Planet Odd will hold on to the game. Only just, though. That was... That was one daytime with the Agonims. That was the first showing of the Ag's daytime coddle, and they claim two Raxes and almost end the game with it. That is very substantial. Very nice draft that they have coming yeah, up. Really nice. The synergy yeah, really between nice all draft. the heroes is like really, really cool. Yeah. The Tusk, the coddle, the Fissure the, to set up for the Pugna and the coddle blasts, and then the tanky frontline Dragon Knight. Just a very nice looking draft, and it's, I mean, I just love Pugna too. So I'm a little biased. <laughs> Odd into the pit. Ooh, miracle is there, though. This is a risky one. We hard to throw out the shackle. The root as well. On to the Earthshaker. Getting him out to the side. Miracle pops the BKB just in time before Saxon comes in with the epicenter. Does get the pro strike onto Batuma Man on the high ground. But Batuma Man, he has a heart. This is an incredibly tanky Pugna. <laughs> he just heart. turns. Life drains down resolution. Miracle chases him down. That's going to be the Arc Warden gone. There'll be a buyback from Weeha. Does get the two man shackle with the focus fire. Can they get the kill? He pops the BKB. Continues to focus Miracle. Chasing him away from the fight. Matumba Man keeping himself alive with the decrepit fight. But the Reaper Scythe comes in. They brought down Matumba. Miracle did survive only just dodging the power shot. Gets himself back to safety. Mind control, Fisher onto Weeha. I mean, Weeha can turn if he wants to, but it looks like he's scared. He knows the backup's coming in for Liquid. They get the blinding light. The Roche is getting pretty damn low. GH really slowed them down enough. Saxa jumps in on the side with the Burrow Strike. There's Resolution moving in as well on the Arc Warden. Trying to finish off GH, but GH forces up the high ground and isn't going to save him. He's gone. Kuroki tried to admit to, to, to help him out with the commitment, but it's not going to pay off. They're going to lose the Shaker. Kuro, he's going to tick down as well. Potentially Saxa jumping forward with the Sandstorm. Looking for the kill. Kuro just surviving. We'll get out. The shackles there, though, over the tree line, onto the creeps, onto the Dragon Knight. Miracle turns with the Dragon Telebrief fire, able to punish the tanking. <laughs> and by the looks of it, he's going to walk it out with the Shadow Blade. He may even go back in. We'll see how big bully Miracle's feeling today. Rezo is teeping out straight into his nose, and indeed, Miracle just mans up, stuns him up. Kuro's there with the tag team coming through, but it's actually going to be Kuroki paying with his life. And it's not going to pay off for Miracle either. He's down as well. Maybe got a little bit excited. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Odd. How are they? Do they are absolutely coming back into this one with these sort of plays. They're still at a massive 10k deficit. That was three buybacks, though. They True. did commit three I mean, to contest that. It's getting crazy, though. And I, I think that Liquid also got maybe a little bit excited. And maybe, you know, he bought a heart, full heart at Pugna. Yeah. And he had BKB Kirby music. Nah, I'm just going hard. So that does say something when people go for those type of drastic item changes that they're definitely feeling very confident in the game. A full AC finished up on Dragon. I mean, they got so much gold from getting those full two sets of racks and, all, and the tier fours. My control set up for Moon. He does see him for a second. Gets the Fissures. Got the Blink. They have the follow up though. Can Moon get out of it? He's got Saxa to back him up, and that may just be enough to save him. And it looks like he will. Moon will survive for now. Liquid back off. Planet it odd. Grouped up around their shrine. They are ready for this fight. They have got Epicent, so they're good to go. Resolution. They've still got the Aegis on Rezo too. Rezo sending his illusion down. Trying to get some scouting info. Everyone on Liquid setting up now. The recalls are coming. Oh, look at this wraparound. This could be huge if Planet Oak get the initiation. Liquid Eight seconds smoke for up. DK, but yeah, now it's It's going to reveal the power shot. Cuts through the tree line. They'll be the knock back onto Rezo, but he pops the BKB. Looks towards GH, but Kuro's there with the snowball save. Buying some time for him in the tree line. Moon, Echo slammed down. Necrophos is gone for a full minute. 
Reinhardt moving in, trying to finish off GH, but Kuroki again with the saves. The war is punched to hold back Weeha. The reaction from Miracle as he burns down a second. Planet Odd, they've lost two and maybe even more. Kuro's there with the Snowball Shard, Fisher Life Drain beatdown as Planet Odd lose a third. And as you say, they had expended the buybacks. They don't have buybacks for this. And we know how quick Liquid could push. Misery quick with the four staff due. It's not going to save him though. Huge amounts of damage coming out from Liquid as they slam down a fourth. Turned into daytime as soon as they get the smoke wrap run. So they reveal they do get the jump on GH though, but beautiful save by Kuroki. The fight turned into like two separate fights with uh, Pugna and Earthshaker fighting in the top right versus Necro. And I think it was Resolution. And then in the bottom left, it was the others fighting. But yeah, GH lives long enough to be able to recall Miracle into the engagement, and then, then it's impossible for them to fight. And this should be where the game just gets this, picked up now. Yeah, this could be Megas. Looks very likely to be with two still down. Both Weeha and Misery out of the fight. Resolution's illusion getting shoved forward, taken down. As Liquid look to finish off the racks here. Can Planet Odd do anything to Odd? They can't. GG will be called, and Liquid will take your game one here against Planet Odd.